So rather than getting the full-size Microsoft Designer keyboard, my idea is to have a compact keyboard and a number pad, so I can reclaim my number pad desk space when I don't need the number pad. I'm someone who likes to change my keyboard and mouse to find the optimum setup. And I'm glad Microsoft have these nice elegant options. This is my keyboard journey over the last two years. I started using my Logitech K780 keyboard in my study room and in terms of typing efficiencies and comfort, this is still by far my favorite keyboard up until today. When I expanded my studio into my living room and set up my second work desk, I started using my Logitech K380 as a temporary keyboard while I waited for the price of the Logitech MX Keys Mini to drop. Then one day, I encountered this Microsoft number keypad selling at almost half price at Officeworks. I bought it and was quite impressed. This is the first time I'm switching over from Logitech to use a Microsoft keyboard. And then, a few days ago, I encountered this Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard at JB Hi-Fi, and I realized it's the same family as this Microsoft number pad. So here we are, reviewing this keyboard. Hi everyone, my name is Richard, and welcome to another Sky Perspective video. When I was checking out the Logitech MX Keys Mini, the shockingly small size of this Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard caught my attention. Look at how much smaller this Microsoft keyboard is compared to the Logitech MX Keys Mini. I know, we are comparing the outer boxes. So, I actually googled it and compared the actual dimensions. And the Microsoft keyboard is indeed a lot smaller in all three dimensions, the length, height, and thickness. And after I open the box and inspect the keyboard for the first time, the more I'm liking this Microsoft keyboard. Both the words compact and maximize come to my mind. It's as if the designer tries to push and maximize the key sizes as much as possible while keeping the chassis and the body of the keyboard as compact and thin as possible. The initial pairing with Windows is really straightforward too. Because I have Windows Swift Pair turned on, once I switched on the keyboard, I was prompted to connect. I clicked on Yes, I want to connect. And after keying in the pin displayed on the screen, the pairing is done. And I can start using the keyboard straight away. Apart from that, repairing is intuitive too. It's straightforward like the initial pairing. After toggling to the device number that you want, press and hold to set the keyboard into pairing mode. A slow blinking light shows that the keyboard is in pairing. And the rest is pretty standard. Search for the keyboard on the device, key in the pin, and connect. It can connect up to three devices, but unlike my Logitech K380, Having dedicated buttons for each device, this Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard only has one toggle switch. And this is the first negative I realize about this keyboard. When switching between devices, I need to press on the toggle button for about half a second or more. Have a look at this. This is how long I need to press to toggle between devices. And it doesn't work if I press too fast I think they designed the quick press for us to turn on the indicator lights to show which device we are currently on. So for those of us who are fast on our keyboard, this might annoy you a bit. And yes, it takes quite a while to toggle from device 1 to device 3. Now what's really good about this toggle key is that the indicator lights are very well placed. Instead of having the numbers on the left and the lights on the right, they place the lights on the left edge of the button. I can press on this toggle button and see the indicator light without lifting my finger off the button. So it's a pretty considerate design. In terms of the hotkeys on the function keys, they managed to include the home and 
pitch up and pitch down keys, which I noticed I'm using quite often. I mainly use the shift home and shift n to highlight sentences, like this. Go up, press on home key, shift end and down to highlight the entire paragraph. I also like this dedicated media player key. After I transferred my recorded YouTube video clips from my camera to my laptop, all I need is one press to launch the media player and I can find all the video clips that I have just uploaded. To take a screenshot on Windows 10 or Windows 11, we press the Windows key, Shift and S combo keys to open up four different ways to take a screenshot. We have Full Desktop Snip, Current Windows Snip, Freeform Snip and finally the Rectangular Snip. On this Designer Compact keyboard, there is this single press shortcut key that straight away activate the rectangular snip, saving us a lot of keystrokes. I use this rectangular snip screenshot all the time, so this key is actually really handy for me. I also noticed there is a tiny little bump on this Windows snapshot key. It's similar to the braille alphabets for the vision impaired, where I can simply run my middle finger across the top row of the keys to locate this Windows snapshot button without even taking a glance at the keyboard. I love this type of intuitive product designs. In fact, there are two more of these tiny bumps, one on the volume up button and the other on the Windows lock key. Instead of looking at the keyboard to press Windows key and L to lock the computer, all I have to do is slide my finger across and feel for the tiny bump to locate the lock key. And of course, as seen from the marketing advertisements of this keyboard, we have a dedicated emoji key, which I don't really find it useful because I'm used to pressing the Windows and full stop combo keys already in order to fire up the emoji window. The other great thing about this keyboard is that it has the cap locks indicator light. Not many wireless keyboard have this. Both my Logitech K380 and K780 does not have this. If I'm not wrong, even the expensive Logitech MX keys doesn't have this cap locks indicator light. This light is synchronized with the operating system which means it lights up even when we press the cap locks on another keyboard connected to the same computer. The other thing I want to mention is I noticed the delete and escape keys are ever so slightly larger than the rest. And yes, the larger key size does make a big difference. Let's have some fun and do some typing demo. Jump forward 20 seconds to skip this typing section if you want. I'll be discussing my typing experience compared to the Logitech K380 after this typing demo. After using this Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard typing the entire script for this video, I could definitely say I didn't have the claustrophobic feeling like when I'm using my Logitech K380 keyboard. Check out this video why I don't prefer my Logitech K380 keyboard. Even though this Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard is exactly the same size as the Logitech K380, I noticed the distance between the keys are a lot more spacious compared to the Logitech K380. For fast touch typists, it's not the size of the keys that matters, it's the precise distance between the keys that's important. 
So we don't need to keep retraining our muscle memories every time we switch keyboards. And I noticed the distance of the keys are exactly the same as my favorite Logitech K780 keyboard, which explains why I got used to typing on this Microsoft Designer keyboard almost instantaneously. So how good is this Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard and Microsoft Number Pad compared to my favorite Logitech K780 keyboard? I've only used this Microsoft keyboard for two to three days, and I plan to install the Microsoft keyboard software. Compare it to Logitech Logi Option software. Really use this Microsoft keyboard for a few weeks before I show you the other nuances and my final verdict. Like the comment down below if you are interested to hear my in-depth findings on this keyboard in a few weeks time so I can prioritize this video before many of my other videos I need to make. Subscribe and hit that notification so you don't miss out. Hang on, before you click away, I forgot to show you the battery compartment. Gosh, so many things to cover. I really need to make another video on this keyboard. In order to make this keyboard really thin, Microsoft had to use flat cells batteries and not just one or two, but four of them. In terms of battery life, Microsoft claims it can last up to 36 months. And obviously, I can't test this one out, but because this keyboard does not have backlight and those sophisticated backlit sensors sensing our hovering hands like the Logitech MX keys, I can see how this Microsoft keyboard can actually last up to 36 months. I'm kind of glad I got this Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard instead of the Logitech MX Keys Mini. Yes, I'm someone who likes to go for tech gears that are value for money instead of the latest and greatest expensive model. Okay, check out my other video on this Microsoft number pad that belongs to the same family. And this video on why I don't prefer my Logitech K380. And click here to subscribe. You take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.